I'm working on the RSX today. I've ran into so much bad luck though. If you watched the last video, then you would know that someone vandalized the E36. And also, I had to duct tape the rear lip on, or just tape the rear lip on. I don't know if you can see that. I hit a speed bump pretty hard and ended up just ripping the whole uh, rear lip off. And to top everything off, when I was cleaning out the garage in another video, I didn't see there was a nail and now I've got a flat on the K1500. So it's just been a, a great time. If you didn't watch the last video, we installed the uh, front lip on the E36, which looks freaking awesome. It looks amazing. Well, it looks like it's going to rain. So let me pull in the RSX, get this out of the way, get this out of the way and start working on the RSX. I've got the package for it here. And then you guys will be able to see what spoiler I did for it. So cool. Let me get this out of the way. So I've got all the cars moved out of the way. Man, I can't stop just staring at the E36. It just looks so good, especially out and outside of the garage. I feel like everything just gets so dulled down inside here. So moving on to what I was uh, actually doing, one of the videos I had made, I had talked about putting a spoiler on the back of the RSX. I was trying to pick between three different ones, one of them being type R spoiler. Uh, some people even call it like the A spec spoiler. And then the second one being the ducktail, and then the third one being the Mugen uh, spoiler, or Mugen, whatever. As you can tell here, I've got the Mugen uh, rear lip, I've got the Mugen side skirts, the uh, Mugen front lip. So, with that said, let me show you guys what spoiler I ended up getting for the RSX. <laughs> Here's the moment guys, if you've been waiting since two months ago when I made that last video, here's the moment that you've all been waiting for, what spoiler this is. I haven't even seen it by the way, but uh, here we go. I've got to figure out what to do with this little lip here. Open up the hatch, this little uh, rubber grommet right there, which looks like this. You'll want to use a screwdriver and then just take it off or however you guys want to use, whatever you guys want to use. So they'll come right off. There's a bolt inside. So there's the bolt. This is what the bolt looks like up in there, which I just showed you. And this is a size eight. Grab your wrench. Once you loosen it up, they're not very tight. So just grab this piece, your extension and your eight, and then you can just turn and just keep turning. So I got the little small spoiler there off. I ended up breaking the clips right there, right there, right there, right there, and right there off. I didn't break anything else on the spoiler itself. I didn't realize there was other clips in there. I didn't want to take this piece off here. 
just because that seemed like a lot of work. Uh, so I just broke the clips off. I just had to pull up really hard and kind of hit it a lot of times and uh, ended up coming off. So I'm gonna get this cleaned up because there's a ton of dirt and stuff right here. And then we will put the spoiler on and see how it lines up. All right, so I've installed a couple spoilers so far. And what I find the easiest to do is you want to tape up the spot where the spoiler is going to sit. You want to get it where you think it fits the best. Right there. I think that's where I want it. I'm going to grab my marker. I'm going to mark where it's sitting. All right, so it's actually been like three weeks since I've actually even touched the car. I don't have the spoiler on it yet. Last point I left off at, we had put tape on the back of the car. We had traced around where I wanted the spoiler to sit. And honestly, it's been three weeks since I've touched the car because I am way too scared to drill into it. But I went over to Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight, I know. Good old trusty uh, hardware store, right? And I bought some... Uh, Drill bed. So now I have to drill into the car because now I've spent more money. The the way I'm going to do this actually is I'm going to put the bolts that came with the kit I bought. Uh, I'm going to put ketchup on the ends and then I'm going to put them on the spoiler, set the spoiler down where I want it, ketchup will leave the marks and I'll drill a hole right into it. Ah, the good old uh, Harbor Freight drill broke on me. Harbor Freight, I know. Good old trusty uh, hardware store, right? Nice. Waiting for the garage door open, er, to stop. So uh, now I'm even more money in because I had to go and buy this thing. Hopefully this one's a little bit better and doesn't break in half on me. But uh, yeah, let me uh, get this unboxed and then Get this goddamn spoiler on the car. This is kind of cool. I don't know if you can see that, but there's actually uh, little holes here already. Pre-drilled slots for a spoiler. So, shout out to Acura. Super cool. Damn, Aiden, you a killer. Depot on the beat. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed those cinematics. Uh, I know it wasn't much, but I hope you guys like the spoiler. I'm in my work clothes because I need to get this video out. I've been procrastinating like crazy on it. Make sure to like the video if you're liking it so far. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification button if you want to stay notified when I upload. I know I don't lo upload often, but I'll try to get better at it. But hope you guys are enjoying the video. Once again, like, comment, subscribe. I will list in the uh, description the, the link to the spoiler. With that said, guys, in the next video, I'll probably end up working on the RSX again. Uh, I don't really like the fitment where it's at. I've got some wheels coming for the RSX. They probably won't be here by the next video, but we'll be end up, but we'll be messing with the suspension in the next video. So there's a little sneak peek for everyone that stayed to the end. And I did want to say thank you for everyone that does stay to the end. I hope everyone is enjoying the videos. I will catch you in the next one.